Hello everyone, it's a boy Rico the best and in this video I'll be installing the Play Store on the new Amazon Fire tablet and this one is the Fire 7 you could actually pick this up on Amazon for like 40 bucks yeah that's right links gonna be below in the description so you could check that if you need to purchase one of these alright so I'm just gonna rip this box apart Not an unboxing video. This tablet, I just pick it up brand new, so I'm just gonna be installing the Play Store, like what I said on it. So I'll be also doing an unboxing video on it, so you could stay tuned for more. Check that out. I know that it's probably weird. I am not looking at you guys like now, because when I actually look at the screen, it seems like I'm looking at something else. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for this to boot up so I'm just gonna go through the setup and get back to you guys I'm actually still getting this mix up I need to be looking directly at you guys I am still looking at myself in the camera anyway so here I am guys finish going through the setup so what I'll do this procedure is similar to the other video I did on installing Play Store on the Fire Tablet, I think that one was the fifth generation. But anyway, I'm just doing an update video. So this is my 2017 version video. All right. So all I need you to do is to go to your Silk browser and head over to record the best tech so that's r i c k o d e there it is so i just touch it i'm going to be putting the links below in the description so it'll be much easier for you guys it's not going to be as difficult as it seems here So you don't have to do this part, the link is going to take you exactly to the page. So the link I'm going to put in below in the description should get you directly to this page. So what I'm going to be doing is to download the APKs and all you need to do is just click here. And I'm just gonna download them in the order they are shown just to avoid being confused. So I'm starting with the Google account manager. So we're just gonna hit download, direct download, and you don't need to create an account, so you're just gonna say no thanks, continue to download. And then you just touch OK and it says downloading file. Download complete. I'm just going to hit the second one, which is Google Play Services. You could actually download them in any order you choose, but I choose to just go to each of them one by one, the next one after. So I'm at the second one, so I'm just going to click OK. Complete. So I'm just going to go back, get to the third one. So I'm just going to download again. save it download complete hit back 
and the final one Google service framework repeating the same process again download direct download okay all right bingo i should have all my files so what i'm going to do is just close this tab the instruction says step one install google service framework so i'm just going to touch right here and let me do that again this little thing right here it's like three stripes running horizontally so i'm just going to touch it go to downloads and then install my google service framework the install is blocked so i'm going to allow unknown source so we just hit settings turn on this little toggle that says allow apps from unknown source and i'm just going to go back Google framework next next installing sorry if this video seems to be a little long but I'm actually doing it step by step so you guys will get it so done a few moments later so we're going to move to the second step which is install the google play services so i'm just going to touch this little thing up top downloads google play services and in case if you get this message which says can't open file I must show you guys what is the fix for that so I'm just gonna open a new tab type one mobile market so it's gonna be this one right here and we just say download now okay And we install it so once complete we're just gonna click open swipe to the left a few times enter and up top here we're gonna search for file Explorer we could use ES file Explorer manager it's free also the one mobile market app is an alternative if you don't want to use the play store because it requires no account and you could get the same apps as you would get in your play store and it's also an alternative if you're trying to download something in play store and it says not available in your region you could also use the one mobile market app to get that up okay so it's finished so we just want to click open I think you might need to touch on the screen to get it ready for you. So just gonna hit start now. Okay. I think you want to touch this little three horizontal lines. And then we're gonna go to local 
and say download and there you have it so we're going to install the google play services which is right here install next next install So in case if you're getting can't install the app or can't open up, this should be an alternative to use a file explorer app to get to the APK files. So this is finished, we're just gonna click done and for reference we're just gonna press our reset app button, go back to our browser. I'm just gonna click close this tab and we're gonna go right back step three and step three is install Google account manager so I'm going to touch the reset app button go back to my file explorer and install the Google account manager So you want to do it step by step and ensure that you install them in the correct order because if not the Google Play service won't work so we're gonna to go to Google Play Store which is the last one which would be the fourth step or the last step or the last app to be installed and it says app install so we could go ahead and open the app and you should have your Google Play Store. So all you need to do now is go to new. If you don't have a new account and create one, if not, you could go to existing and sign in with your existing account. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it will help you guys and feel free to share it, like it, comment and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Mm-hmm.